previously. So let's play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. <laughs> You ruined it. Hey guys, welcome to 0% net neutrality F11 distribution. If you fit your strength cap, please pay 10,000 gold to get a master seal so you can gain more strength. The let's play will not continue until you pay your microtransactions because this is now a net anti net neutrality run. So we will just be waiting here and you guys can just go and pay your microtransactions and the let's play will continue. Yeah, we we're throttling your access to this LP because we think that it no longer needs to be rigged. Actually, it's just government. it's just gonna go really slowly. It's gonna go <laughs> super slowly. So, what what is uh, new then? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't see the difference. <laughs> Dire from Lenny Long Battle Mark and the, the League arrived at last in Arcania. Loading. Man, I sure wish I paid twenty dollars extra for this. <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Loading. You better add one of those loading icons. <laughs> Princess. The twirling wheel. Nina. Mother. Kingdom. Past. The mountains. You know, guys, the mecha people who haven't like been paying attention to net neutrality are not gonna know anything about. It. They're not gonna understand what's going on. <laughs> it's their fault. Did you actually purposely like Discord? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. Oh no. Is Discord being affected it's, by it net started. neutrality? It started. Oh no. No, we got internet rapture. We gotta pay ten dollars to Discord now, or else it's gonna start lagging. Oh no. Discord needs to pay the FCC or whatever oh, it works. Oh shit, man. So this is how it feels not to live in a free world. Man, I can feel so oppressed already. Jesus Christ. Alright. <coughs> oh shit, we just got a massive donation from uh, Martha <laughs> Fanboy 2008. So thanks. First time runner, second time donator. Really <laughs> wanted to watch the Shadow Dragon run. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks to all the people ruining this behind the scenes. <laughs> Pass Put the this towards Germany. <laughs> Pass, Pass the mountains. Lay the royal palace. Known to some as Millennium Court. Damn Millennium. Uh, and what and with within its walls awaited many treasures and captives the enemy had taken with each step Mart drew near to one of the great waypoints on his journey man I sure can't wait to rescue those units mecca uh-huh they're still gonna be so important all right chapter was it 10 11 dude we, Hello. we discussed oh. this <laughs> all right <laughs> so this this chapter is like how can we design a very long and pointless map? With a very boring pathway, it's like yeah. I don't know, man. Ask FE4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think they brought the FE4 dev team on when they made this. Uh, actually, no, that doesn't make any that sense. That would be pretty impressive because FE4 <laughs> came after FE4. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want to go, with. you probably got into a time machine or something. <laughs> probably. Anyway, so yeah, this map, it's uh, it's a weird map. There's a lot of space and not a lot of it is useful. I can warp skip this map pretty easily, but then again, you can say that about pretty much like 99% of Shadow Dragon. But hey, hey, Jake. Um, so yeah, of course, I've done uh, battle preparations as always. I just, I got a problem, Mecca. I can't find any space for Ogma. <laughs> There's we... no space for Ogma beyond chapter 6. <laughs> how do we, <laughs> who do we, how do we ditch for him? I mean... Um, I mean, you could ditch Lena. You know, you're not uh... warping anyway, are you? I you could ditch... I, 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 um, I am ditch, actually... It's George, it's George. No, he's a 5-star unit. I mean, you have Gordon and Roger. <laughs> Do you really need more bows? I guess. <laughs> but George is... The thing is, I want the return of the Prue Mecha Rom squad. And yeah, uh, George, well, is, it... George is part of that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Kane's kind of shit, isn't he? Wasn't he also part of that squad? Oh, fuck yes! No, <laughs> it was actually Abel. Oh. Abel. Abel's part well, of I never said anything bad about Abel. <laughs> mm. All right, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I'm looking at Kane right now. He's very defensive, though. But he's got that going in his Yeah, favorite. he's got 12 defense, I hear, which is one more than 11. Yeah, it's really good. It's really <laughs> and good. And he can throw javelins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You've convinced me. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, Ogma. I mean, realistically, what's Ogma going to do this chapter anyway? <laughs> Nothing. Nina, soon the palace will be in sight. I know this can't be easy for you. da 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 when the palace fell- oh right, sorry, I was doing the man voice for Nino. When the palace fell- Nino. <laughs> Nino! Many, many good Arcanaeans were killed. The royal family, my family, where their bodies were hung before the gates is an example. I cannot oh, unpaint the vivid picture my parents grotesquely changed. 
I feel as though I should cry, Marth, or a scream, but no tears come, and I cannot ch chase away the sadness and Ray. Wow, it sounds like she's like singing a Linkin Park song. <laughs> no, I think these are good lines. <laughs> I cannot change the past. I can only shape the future. Lead the way, Marth. I am ready. Take me home. All right. That was actually one of the first times we've gotten like a pre-battle. Actually, no, that happens all the time. I'm I'm, compl I'm thinking yes, about another game. It My bad. All, the time. all right. So uh, yeah, uh, there's a guy over here. We gotta we gotta get him. And I think if I remember correctly, we gotta visit this house. Is it? Yeah, it's either that one or the upper left one. So I there's like there's a bunch of silver sword mercenaries right here. I I was thinking the way to deal with them is just to send a trio of flyers and just like place them alongside the mountains. Yeah, they have quite a bit of attack though, even after the weapon triangle thing. Yeah, yeah I think Jagan might get doubled actually. Uh -huh, probably. So yeah, I was actually. Uh, who should we give the speed wing to? I put it on George. No, sorry, Roger. Roger, Roger. But <laughs> I wasn't sure whether or not like. I'm I mean, not entirely sure either. Maybe maybe Merrick is better. Yeah, I'm well, actually. He's, he's like out of Excalibur. Maybe you should. Oh, you can't repair it until Tokyo 20. Damn. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm. I don't really know who we Maybe should... Maybe even Jagan, if you're going to long-term use him. Because if he gets doubled, he's worse. This is true, actually. Yeah, but yeah, because if we give it to Jagan, he gets 11, which means he doesn't get doubled by these guys anymore. Yeah. That would actually immediate be... Immediate benefit. Immediate benefit. All or right. my nerf, I would, would not be bad here, because she might double some things. Ooh, this is a good point, actually. Hmm. I'll, 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 you'll, you'll decide, uh, Mecha, Jagan or Minerva. Minerva. All right. Minerva it is. Roger, roger. Too bad... Roger, here does I guess Minerva doesn't need her steel axe right away. Alright, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. However, it means that we can't use Jagan to tank them though, sadly. Uh, uh -huh. it's sad. I mean Jagan would get crit anyway, so I don't really like Jagan tanking these guys anyway. This is true. I think I'm actually gonna use I'm gonna use the Iron Lance over the Hood Clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've gotta negate. That that takes off like four attack, dude. I've said this before, but Weapon Triangle gives him plus one attack, and then A Swords gives him plus three attack. It's ridiculous. Right, right. Yeah, it, it matters a lot. Actually, I'm I'm an idiot right now. Uh, does Sheeta one round these guys? No. She does oh, not. Oh, maybe, maybe 18? Seven, that's... Oh, no, 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 she does not. not, even, not even she can't crit, though, so I'm a bit of an idiot for placing her there. But then again, yeah, so can Minerva. She can hmm? do it, Guild. She has a rope, right? She has a rope. <laughs> Actually, yeah, she's yeah, third, third, 13 defense now, too, as well, so she's pretty good. Now, yeah. uh, I'm just, I, I, everyone else I place out of the boss is in range with Sedgar. It's just, it's not that I don't, like, I just don't care if he gets hit, so. You get 1 XP in this game for I think you get damage combat? I think you do. So, actually, it's like, so a, it's like a net positive, since there's no combat ranking in this game. It doesn't uh -huh. really matter. And we're, we are, of course, going for a ranked run, as you all know. Mm -hmm. um, that's right, I still have Sedgard. Oh, I still have the animations turned off. What is this? What is this blasphemy? Oh, never mind. I have some animations turned off, apparently. Yeah, I think since Minerva joined after you turned them on, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think or so. Or solo? You have them on solo. Uh, yeah, 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 I do have them on solo. All right, there we go. So uh, we need to get Marth over to this village. Uh, normally you can warp, but um, you got to be very good to warp. And... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, you need like a good plan to prevent Marth or your warper from dying. Exactly. And this I is think not, Marth get doubled. Which is not my my strongest suit. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, these Pegasus Knights are annoying. Um, yeah, there's not enough space to hide everyone. I think. Unless yeah, I'm so I'm gonna have great. to make I'm gonna have to make a wall, and we're gonna have to make. Uh, Maybe there is enough. I'm not sure. Maybe you can bait him with Jagan. I'm even pretty know. sure. I'm pretty sure two Pegasus Knight is not enough to kill Barst. Then again, they Probably do have not. they do have forged javelins. Now they do they don't double and they do they lose three attack, two yeah. from weapon, one from weapon triangle, and two from uh, uh, a rank. Yeah. So if I place Sedgar and, and Barth here, that is going to do nothing. Okay. Um, Time for Kane. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> Ooh, defensive Kane. This is true. He has twelve defense, but I think he um, it's not enough. He gets doubled. <laughs> oh, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. They're they're pretty fast. How, they are, how heavy are the javelins? Um, really strength. It's a seven. Javelins are very nice Light. in this game. Yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, as lo I mean, to be fair, as long as um, I mean, I can place like, wait a minute, this guy's it's four or five speed in, in Shadow Dragon. I think it's four. 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 Yeah. So it's Roger, four, like every game, you four fates. Should 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 have <laughs> almost given, every game. Should have given uh, Roger the speed wings, man. Oh, I forgot to oh, check right. the. You can put George in range. That's fine. Yeah. I can because he's a five star unit. Um, no, because they have <laughs> but whatever you want to. 
whatever you say. Um, yeah, actually, um, I didn't check reinforcements for this map. Do you happen to have the data available? Because I know this map just yes. features some reinforcements. Yes. I think they're like location based or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> actually, I was going to say I have them in hand. There's no reinforcements, but you're right. They're actually location based near the boss area. But you have nothing to fear unless until you enter that place. Yeah, and I can I can always just send Sedgar in first or something. So what I should do here is I I don't think Minerva. Let's see how do we do this. She can crit and die, so maybe I should just go back. That's gonna quote. Oh wait, Hadex. Use the hot glare as a vulnerable. <laughs> you know, some some people say that I have to do it once during the LP just as a meme. I mean, this would have been an okay spot for it. I don't think it equips the uh, hot glare if you use it as a vulnerary. But uh, doesn't it? Uh, wow, that's a really Steinhuis has really shitty. Uh, Accuracy, yeah. Yeah. It's garbage. <laughs> but um, but does but using the hook to declare that removes the durability, doesn't it? Yeah. It yeah. So that's, that's why I don't want to do it. I <laughs> uh, know. <laughs> All right. You know, who time cares for you time for five star unit to contribute. Yeah. Five star unit. Okay. Yeah. You had the opportunity to train Roger and Gordon, maybe get into promotion, but no. I got approval. I, I I wanted to give him a kill. I haven't been giving George a lot of kills, to be to be completely honest. Anyway, we've dealt with the initial flyers, so now this map is just walking. Just, uh, this is really good map design. I don't see any reinforcements listed on the WOD, so maybe that's just the FA12 version. Really? I hope so. If not, we're in for a fun surprise, so I'm yeah. good either way. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing, this map is also present in Fire Emblem 12. So, yeah. and that is really... Where it's, like, super scary. <laughs> yeah, that's really scary, and, and you, you tend to, to mix them up. Actually... Yeah, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna pull this mercenary. I think the, you know, the main squad can handle these guys. They're worth more experience to the main squad, so... I think yeah, all these guys are promoted, they don't need much. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll, dra I'll drag this guy out with Minerva, and then I'll send Sheeta and Jagan to assist the main... Actually, we can, if we want to, we can... No, we cannot visit this house. Never mind, I just had the red thing turned off. <laughs> I, I just gotta say for a moment, I love the, the, the red grid in this game. I don't know why. But it is so nice to colorblind people. I don't know why. It just is. It stands out, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I just love it. It's in, in every other Fire Emblem game, the red outline always fucks me over in some way, I feel. But here, oh, I can does see. pretty shitty damage. Wow. Yeah, Iron Lance. It's not her. Oh, hi. Can she use a Steel Lance? She. I don't know, actually. Doesn't she, she has have. Steel Lances, right? Yeah. She... Oh, she can. All right. That's nice. Okay. Anyway, that so would have been nice. Yes. <laughs> we gotta stop this guy from destroying the slave market. That would be really bad. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go buy ourselves some slaves, my god, That's why we came here. Can't wait to gotta get. Gotta go with above average speed. <laughs> Can't wait to get some slaves. Yeah. You wanna buy a slave? Hey man, watch it. That neutrality <laughs> is gonna censor the shit out of you. Oh shit! No wait, that YouTube already does that, so that's fine. So oh, that's we've true. we've had monetized rip. <laughs> we've had censorship all along, so that's fine. I'm used to that shit. I mean, did all uh, your shit get demonetized or not? Um, it it it, it usually gets demonetized, but since I'm part of a network, they are pretty good at repealing it. So it usually gets repealed within the hours. It doesn't affect me all that much, but there are some videos that just gets lost in limbo, as in like they it's just stuck on processing, and I think they just forget about it, and that's sort of like how they like to to uh, censor it. Yeah, um, that's like the common complaint, isn't it? That it, that it just that yeah. people just let it expire. The company just let it expire, but that takes forever. Yeah, I have a video that's been like in review for six months or something. They just Rip. they just don't want to look at it, and it's uh, Lucky Crit, Stevie from Lucky Crit. He found out that what actually causes a lot of the demonstrations, like stupid words, like when you say Sigurd, as in Sigurd from Fire Emblem Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I remember this. They think it means <laughs> cigarette. cigarette. Yeah. It's so <laughs> dumb. Oh, it's so dumb. It's like, oh yeah, it's, oh shit, wait, King gets double here, but it's fine. Cool. It's fine. It's probably a good thing, because it means it's going to shut the fuck up for the rest of the map. <laughs> I mean, oh shit, we got to stop that thief. Yeah, that choke point is kind of deceptive, because it's not really that much of a choke point. You can walk on the pillars. Oh, so well, yeah. You can't there's... really choke the mercenaries <laughs> like that. This village is like, hmm, what should we have as gates to protect our city? Hmm, oh, I, we found these pillars lying around in a temple. I mean, we know you don't know anything about what kind of pillars you can walk through. <laughs> hey, hey, to my defense, probably. that wall looks like a pillar. Come on, my god, you got it. You got it. This pillar looks. This pillar looks like a wall. Yeah, it does. Your you, point is. You agree with me, right? <laughs> that the architecture of Okanaya sucks. No, I never agree with you. You should know better by now. You agree with me on some things. Sometimes. Yeah, I, agree, I agree that neutrality uh, is great. Yeah. Roger, <laughs> Roger. Oh, all right. I thought you said that repealing it was great. Oh. Uh, 
about to think you were gonna it's, make. It's great for companies that want to make money. That is true, man. We should just make a company like Manx and yeah, Mackay Corporate. Yeah, we should start a company. <laughs> <laughs> Manx and Mackay Corporate. Solve all your problems. <laughs> Spectacular Incorporated. Let's go. <laughs> and I have a new school. I should just start a company. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know, man. We've been doing it wrong all this time. Holy shit, I can't believe it. I mean, that's not that's nothing new for you. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> take take it take it the low shots. All right, so we gotta we gotta stop the Steve Mega. <laughs> how do we how do we stop how do we stop? So you swipe. Just yell no swiping at him. Maybe that'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> how do we stop the Steve Mega? This I mean, is... just make a wall, and then hopefully the mercenaries don't kill all your dudes. Yeah, because... Uh, like, three javelins or two javelins should kill them. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Abel doesn't get doubled. Um, these guys do 25 damage. He has 8 defense, but, like, he can take... 21 attack. They do 13, I think. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about placing him on this fort. I was, I was yeah. And just throwing a javelin, and then just swapping his lance around, because I do believe the defense of the fort... You know what? Instead of, like, doing math... Like regular people, let's just use the save point and see if it Could works. Use a project. Or a <laughs> this is why I mean, all our extraneous <laughs> get the point. This is why he's a five star unit. He activates yeah. those save points like there's no tomorrow, man. I'm still worried about that thief, though. Uh, why are you worried? You can kill him. Can I? I mean, you can just use Minerva. Yeah, like, but she gets. Or Jagan. Yeah, but they get they get or murdered. Sita. They get murdered by these guys. Oh, how many of them can? can reach? A lot. Uh, but I think what I'll do, actually, oh, yeah, you know, what? Like sure. yeah, I'll, I'll, you see, this is what I'll do, actually. I'll put Sheeta here in range of striking the thief when he comes into the village. That's okay, what I'll do. I hope it's, I hope it's safe for her next turn then. It should be. If I just place her out of range of this mercenary, he won't move towards her like this, uh -huh. and he's weakened. So when he's like here, I don't know. I just hope that I'm just gonna pray. That's... I wouldn't be surprised if she doubles the thief actually. Uh, you know what? Maybe she will. Seven? Nah, oh, she won't. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay, she needed two more points of spear, but she's close. She's actually really close, which is kind of yeah. hilarious. Um, Shouldn't have promoted her early pitfall. Oh my god. <laughs> you know. Oh, Jacob is useful. <laughs> I know. You know, Mecca. One of these days, I'm going to make a pitfall pitfalls, where I, where I, where I, where I point out pitfalls in your pitfalls. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. Yo, the javelin is fine. We're, we're also gonna make a, a, a an anti mecha hack or something, but that also never happens. So yeah. um, that is actually in like in the plans. It's just we got other things to do. But it's actually the you know the the the, the mecha hack is is happening. It's it's coming. There we go. Okay, never mind. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Cool. We got a donation, so now we can continue. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mecca's 20 minutes has run out. And, uh... <laughs> you gotta... You gotta keep... Put, out chair. <laughs> you gotta put, put coin into the vending machine to, to, to re-establish Mecca to this LP. Alright, so I was... I, was, I, was, uh, I told you. Uh, do you think we can... I, I think we can take these four mercenaries with the squad, don't you think? Uh, it's like too good full health. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, Barst also has like shitty accuracy, so it's probably not going to be very reliable if it is possible. I'm just going to use the we... Iron Bow with Sedgar. Uh, I think actually you should have tried to get it so that Sedgar could attack with the Roger Roger. But... Oh, that's a good point. However, we have Kane, so we're fine. Okay, now they really need to die. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'm going all in here. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in, baby. Usually, this is what plans are for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario is I can, can warp, warp. I can yeah. warp George. Okay, that, that's that's like the that's like my exit plan. Um, I'm going to warp George. All right, let's use the Roger Roger. I mean, I can. Roger Roger. I think that I'm not sure if the five. I think the Roger Roger is more accurate than the. No, it's stronger than the five points, but the five points is more accurate. Oh, nice. He leveled. Not speed. Fuck. Leveled not speed. Oh. Leveled everything but no speed. No speed waiting for you then. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, come on. Gordon. <laughs> come on, <make> short. <laughs> not! Gordon! Just one point. I mean, you can still trade the Roger Roger around to him somehow. With someone who isn't gonna attack either way. That is... Uh, I actually don't think I have anyone who's in, not in range of attack, but... Uh -huh. You know what I, I know mean. What you mean. Um, yeah. 
I mean, unless you think Marth has can some finish someone off. I, I think, think Excalibur can get can get a kill. Yeah, Excalibur yeah. can kill this guy, and then I can mm -hmm. not trade it because Wendell's not in range. I think this will be fine. To be completely honest, I think it's gonna be just fine. I'm I'm more worried about whether or not Sheeta can kill the thief. Actually, I'm not. She can kill the thief. She has the glue factor. She has the glue factor. We don't even need she that. Did. She can just use the regular yeah. regular old Iron Iron Lance. Like, I just want to make free sure. Free defense. Yeah. <laughs> Free defense? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, thief. I yeah. Thought, thought you were talking about Sheeta. I'm like, what? Nah. The promo bonus alone is more than three. I yeah, know. That's why I thought it was weird. I mean, we know she does. That's funny. Like, she does supposed to like be the fast frail one, but she's not. She's actually super tanky now. Thirteen defense. Compared to who? I mean, to compare to knights. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Compared to not not Setgar, uh, <laughs> but like, I don't know, Gor Gordon. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just Draco Knight promotion bonuses. They're just so insane. I know. It's just it's funny. It's all. Yeah, I just completely forgot that Bars is not exactly known for his ability to 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 hit. But I, I mean, honestly, if we leave one of them alive, I think that's maybe fine. I mean, he, he doubles some of your guys. Yeah. So you, but we have like, we have Jagen with Silver Lance. So. He almost gets one rounded. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. I, th uh, I think actually, yeah. uh, if you kill the, this one with Marth. Yeah, exactly. Jagan uh, plus Abel probably does it, and if not, you always have a shot with like Forest Hand Axe or something. Yeah. I'm gonna use the. Actually, the Rapier has the same hit as the Iron Sword, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So really? Okay. Yeah, it does. I know in FE6, I think the Rapier is more accurate. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a 95 or something, whereas an Iron Sword yeah. is 85 or something. Everything is inaccurate in Fire Emblem 6. They did, like, back in those days, they just didn't know how to hit things. Uh -huh. um, it's like medieval times. <laughs> they hadn't invented hit rate yet. Yeah. Jagan did 20, right? Yeah. Jagan did 20, yeah. So, in, in this game, they haven't invented avoidance yet. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming 2% crit! Let's get it. Oop. Oh, it's the way Harden went. It's good enough for Abel. Yep. And let's see if Jagan uh, can finish the job. I love how you set a kill up for Jagan with Abel. <laughs> I know. I mean, I've been watching IGN's Awakening tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's not Frederick. <laughs> yeah, they, they say that you should slowly chip away the hit points with all your other units and then have Frederick come in Frederick and kill him. If you want, just have your smaller guys go in and pick off XP or the points from the HP from the guys and then yeah. have Frederick come in and kill him. I mean, but, to be honest, Frederick doesn't double a lot of the time. So <laughs> but I, actually, you know what I think they did? I think they watched your pitfalls and they were like, wow, pre promote <laughs> yes, so that must have been it. That must have been it. <laughs> pre promote so good. Uh, we gotta <laughs> we gotta go to give Frederick all the kills. Because you know, I mean, like when the players are new to Fire Emblem, they go through this like wave of how what they think about pre promotes. Like at first, they're like, "Wow, this guy's seriously overpowered! Oh my god, I'm gonna use him for everything." Mm -hmm. Then they watch some kind of noobs videos, like, "Oh my god, this two EXP." Then they have this phase of like jig and denial, where they make up all kinds of logical fallacies about why not to use pre promotes. So to that, I only have uh, a few things to say. Marcus sucks. Marcus sucks. Marcus sucks. Marcus sucks. He's horrible. He's bad. He's terrible, and he sucks. So. So there you go, and I'm probably gonna keep making fun of Marcus. Yeah. But then they become enlightened thanks to the Church of Don Don One Five One. How pre promotes work? Yeah, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like your relationship with your parents, isn't it? When you're young, your parents are cool, and then your parents become stupid, and then kind of as you grow <laughs> older, you kind of start to like some of the things your parents do. I mean, I, I recently found myself like walking out in the forest. I was like, what the hell? I become my dad, you know? <laughs> so it, it's kind of I think the same thing is with pre promotes. Really, it's like you know, it's a phase that will pass eventually. Uh huh. Just like being a teenager. Just like being a teenager. This is how oh you. God. This is how you grow. <laughs> Life lessons with mangs. That's <laughs> <laughs> so why you come here. <laughs> anyway, we should heal. We should heal J. J I almost called him Jable. Because he said Jable. J heal Jagan. Jable. All right. So uh, we got a heal. Uh, Lena's like out of range, which sucks. But I guess what. Lena's we'll never out of range. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true. She has physics. But, uh, actually, it's really... She only has one Physic. Yeah, actually, no, I got a new one. Brand yeah. new one. Yeah, but it's still only one. This is true. So, um, how do we... So, Jake's a bit of an annoying guy, so we gotta, like, talk to Anna, and then we gotta recruit Jake. Do you think we just, like, do a warp, or what do you think we do here? Do we walk in with Sedgar and, like, sap their Thunderbolts, or what do we do? 
Oh, the Thunderbolt hits on res, so it's not Oh, that oh yeah, that's that's not good, is it? I mean, the easiest way is just to warp Marth from the village instead of walking all the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, how... and, and, and the reason I said promote Sita last chapter is so that mm. she can fly towards Jake without having to dodge uh, an arrow in space. Is, is it this place we gotta see, or this place? Uh, it's the left one. You gotta kill the Cavalier, actually. So we gotta so... have someone in range, too. Yeah, you gotta use the Spectacular to kill the I do want this Cavalier. energy drop, though. Um... I can get Doesn't it. Doesn't the sniper also have something? It's kind of hard Spir to get. Yeah, spirit dust. Yeah. I think we should get it. It's really, it those are really hard to get, unless you want to go and just tank forever with Setgar. Mm -hmm. I think Setgar also takes damage from the from the mana keep. Watch out for ballisticians! They can fire their missiles quite a long ways. If you see they're using so a weapon. So it's like North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Jake is Kim Jong-un confirmed. <laughs> I mean, he, he has like Asian eyes. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a big problem. Jake Young Un confirmed. <laughs> Jake Young Un. He's in. We out of there before their wings get clipped. Also, the ballisticians have a weapon called the Thunderbolt, which is a particularly effective against other ballisticians. Yep, we know. That's why boy Jake's a five star unit. Ballistician water type confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I thought that I always thought that was kind of strange, you know. Also, I'm an idiot. I was actually gonna give this kill to uh, Abel. See that. Actually, no, I can, you know, I can give it to Marth. Um, yeah, but if Marth misses, he dies. This is true. I guess. All right. Fine. I can train Shida's X X skill. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not risky at all. I'm not gonna do it. Dead. Uh, oh, right, there's an arena here. Those are great, yeah, right? Yeah. You remember those? <laughs> yeah. Man, if only you had Ogma with you. I know! He's the only guy I chose to send into the arena. Sad times, sad times. So, this fucker. Uh, he does. He only does 10 damage? Yeah. What? Thunderbolt has very little might. Oh, or does it. Does it... It's based on magic, of course, because it hits some resistance. Right! It's like the Lemon Sword. Right, and we also have this guy, though, with 15 speed. So, how do you propose we tackle this? Like, do we um, do we just send in Sedgar? I mean, it's not like he's gonna take a lot of damage, right? Uh, it's gonna take 10 at a time, so give him a Vulnerary or something. Right. Because think... he's, he's gonna walk a lot. Do we have. Ah, give him yeah. the <laughs> I don't think he can use it. Though. Oh, that would be. I wonder if. You... I don't actually know if you can use the Hot if you don't have an AX rank. I would oh, actually... one vulnerary. Yeah, that's gonna get the job done. Yeah, one, <laughs> <laughs> one vulnerary. That's, that's how we're gonna do it. I mean, Merrick has what six resistance? He takes like four. Oh, uh, what, what if you what if you put someone with like lower HP in range of the Thunderbolt? I wonder if they'll go for him instead of Sedgar. I think like, they. What if you put Gordon there? Yeah, or Roger. Yeah, I mean, whoever you want to give that one EXP to. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we gotta train our units up somehow, right? Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a good point, actually. And then I think we can use Sedgar to lure out the horsemen. I mean, honestly, it's really easy to kill these guys once you get within their range. Okay, so did we... That was not Anna's house, I think. No. There we go. Not everybody fighting for the Grist is a bad apple, you know. Take my sweetheart Jake. He's got a heart of gold, that one. Hey, get it? Gold, gold, Anna, money. <laughs> if you see him, tell him Anna's worried sick about him. Of course, my Jake won't give no one but the ladies the time of the day. That's just the way he is, man. That Kim Jong-un only likes women. Alright. <laughs> okay. Might as well visit the other house. I don't well. know. If I look at Kim Jong-un, I don't think this guy likes women. I think this guy likes food. <laughs> Kim Jong-un. I think this guy likes uh, Burger King. <laughs> I love, my personal favorite is Kim Jong-un inspects the biscuit factory. I, I love I love that row of images. Have you seen that? It's like Kim, Kim Jong-un walking inside, like, looking at biscuits. <laughs> he's so, uh, he's, yeah, I see he's so enthusiastic before. about it. He's like, oh, that's a good biscuit. Oh, yeah, that's a good biscuit. Oh, look at this biscuit. A very good biscuit. <laughs> like the leader, leader of true Korea, everyone. Three ancient weapons known as the regalia have been passed tr through the generations of House Akadaya. Parth, the audible flame, Gravidus, the lance to pierce the stone, and Mercurius, the spectral sword. And then we retcon in the fourth one, the Hood Clare. <laughs> Only those blessed by the gods may lay hands on them, or so it goes. Or, or those who get A-rank in weapons, which is like everyone. Uh, so, I don't know. That sounds, sounds like bullshit, man. Yeah, it's not even an S-rank in this game. No, I, I think I said A-rank. No, that's... I uh, I wasn't actually correcting you this time. Oh. I was actually agreeing. Heh, <laughs> what do you want? A broken nose? Yes, please. <laughs> One broken nose coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were holding some Arcanians here against their will. Release them at once. Yeah, it's fine if you hold anyone else, but Arcanians, that's no good. <laughs> yeah, like gr Christians, that's fine. You can keep those, but release the yeah. Arcanians. How about I release my fist into your munchkin mannequins? <laughs> <laughs> munchkin mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> the Altian army? Aye, get me out of here. Is everyone all right? I know you've been through a lot. Go home to your families. Hmm? What's wrong, lad? Why don't you go home? Ba 
Because I have no home to go to. You're, you're a girl? Why were you dressed as a boy? To hide, sir. My name's Linda. My father, uh, I, it was Miloa, a pontifex. I, I'd done men's garbs to escape from Garnet, but sooner was I away than those ruffians grabbed me. So you're Linda. I'm glad you're safe. Princess Nina was worried about you, you know. Well, we're all together now. I promise to keep you out of danger. No, let me fight! With Princess Nina's blessing and the tome of my father. My, my tome of my father left me. I can wield the aura magic. Quality voice acting. Let me use it to avenge him. I want to destroy Garnet myself. <laughs> but she Good luck with that with Aura. <laughs> but she can't, she can't win against Gar now. Oh, really? Wow, I never heard that before. <laughs> Alright. Linda! Let's talk Send her into the arena next. <laughs> 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 oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight, mate? You want a broken nose? <laughs> I'm going to release my fist into your munchin mannequin. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Linda. Uh, she is uh, a mage, as you might, might be able to see. And... Wow. Uh, yeah, I learned something new every day on this channel. <laughs> I just had to, I just had to talk some bullshit, but I scrolled up on my notes. Um, so Linda, um, she, um, she's like uh, many probably, you know, have the impression of Linda that she's like this fast glass cannon, but in Shadow Dragon, she's actually pretty slow. Uh, especially on hard five, she'll never double anything. Well, of course, that puts her into the category of 98% of the rest of the cast, but still. Um, Linda, of course, uh, she... That, that just means she's not Sheeta. <laughs> she, yeah, she's basically not Sheeta, but I'm talking, like, if you're playing on normal mode, like, Linda's actually not one of those fast units. Some people think she is. In Fire Emblem 12, she certainly is, but in Fire Emblem 11, she's actually kind of slow. Uh, her growth rates are pretty good, though, and she comes at level 1, so she's, like, if, you, if you, you're if you playing on lower difficulties and you like uh, growth units, she's definitely going to be your type of gal. Um, I do find Linda to, to have some use in Hard 5, though, because she comes with the Aura Tome that hits incredibly hard with 18 Might, so she hits harder than Merrick with Excalibur, which is kind of good. Uh, although, albeit with less crit rate and not effective against Flyers, but I still think that the Aura Tome itself is very valuable, because it, it has 90% accuracy, and just the ability to deal 20 magic damage to a unit on hard five is very good. It's not it's not like super good, but it, it, it certainly makes her a useful unit in my opinion. If she just came with a fire tome, she'd be really bad. But because she has that aura tome that nobody else really can use at this point for quite some time, unless like you level up Lena or or Maria, that's not gonna happen either at this point. So I do give Linda a, a three out of five star rating just because she can deliver some nice nukes from afar, even on hard five, even without getting any levels. So I think Linda's a perfectly valuable unit. What do you have to say about her? Uh, I'm kind of a torn on whether she's like two or three stars. Uh, I think you meant to give her three stars, right? Yeah, I said I said three. Oh, I missed it somehow. I must have uh, watched Net Neutrality or something. <laughs> yeah, Net Neutrality anyway, took away your Discord. Anyway, so. the way Aura works is only females can use it, uh, but Linda's the only one who can use it with an E in Tomes. Uh, she has a D at base, of course, um, but other females would need to get like a B in Tomes, which is really hard to reach. So yeah, Aura is basically her personal weapon. Uh, funnily enough, I had to look up how much Aura weights, because I expected it to be really heavy, one. since it isn't like every other game, but it weighs one. Weighs yeah, so one. she only loses one speed. Unfortunately, her base speed is really bad, so Linda actually dies to a stiff breeze if any enemy touches her at all. Yep. Which is why I think I'm leaning towards two-star, because she just cannot do enemy phase at all. Mm. So she's really just an Aura bump and nothing else. And to be honest, uh, I think there's better, a lot better, a lot of better characters out there. Uh, but I will say that like meaty chip damage is sometimes appreciated, so we'll, we'll go with uh, fuck it. We'll do three stars. Fine. Aha! Mecha change is mine. Mecha change is mine. Anyway, into the arena you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. Even if I wanted to, I don't have the money. Before for she it. actually fights a bunch of mannequins.